Hi everyone, welcome to our uh, Facebook Live Q&A session for uh, study abroad uh, here at Bradley University. Uh, my name is Evan. I am a uh, senior management and leadership major with a concentration in human resource management uh, major here at Bradley University, also born and raised here in Peoria, Illinois. And uh, I studied abroad in uh, Costa Rica um, for, uh, for two and a half weeks during my sophomore year here. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah. I'm a senior theater and advertising double major from Chicago. And I studied abroad for a semester, my sophomore year in London. And I also went on tour with the Bradley Chorale to Denmark and Norway for 10 days last May. Hey everyone, I'm Illy. I'm a senior political science and Spanish double major. I'm from North Riverside, Illinois, and my spring semester junior year, so it was pretty recent, mm -hmm. I did the Washington semester program in Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Do you guys want to like share your experience? Like what was a day in the life like while you were abroad? Yeah, you, wanna, you wanna start? start? Sure, all right. Oh man, flashbacks. Um, so <laughs> in the day in the life, uh, in DC, so um, I did a program that was affiliated with American University, which is a university in uh, DC. So um, on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays, we had class. Um, so I did the journalism and new media program. So we were able to take journalism classes and learn about different writing styles and how to cover different political stories. Um, we also got to go on different seminars, which I call them field trips, where we were actually able to go to CNN, Washington Post, NBC, and meet a variety of political correspondents um, anchors, producers, editors, etc., and get to know like in the life of like what it is to be a political correspondent. So it was super cool. Um, I remember going to NBC. They uh, when we went to NBC, they let us um, actually go on like, the green screen on the camera and like actually like read some of the role. And I was actually pretty good at it. So I was like, maybe you know, maybe we'll catch me on NBC one day. Um, <laughs> and then Thursdays and Fridays we spent at our internship. So my internship was um, in a Latin American news broadcast station. So I was able to work with their political correspondent and cover political news in Latin America. So every day I was on the go on the metro, I'm not gonna lie, my first week there, um, I had no idea how to work the bus or the train. She got lost. But I got lost. <laughs> I did it it's amazing there. It's, it's oh great. It's, it's very easy to maneuver now, especially, well, like, like maybe like the first month in, but the first couple days, I was like, red line, I was thinking Chicago red line, <laughs> bl um, blue line, I was like, wait a minute, it's not the Jackson stop, it's like, you're this stop. Um, so it was a kind of like, you know, it took a bit to get used to and to adapt to the DC lifestyle, but definitely loved it. I'm a pro now, I can, um, I still remember all the stops on the red line, uh, don't ask me that right now though. Um, but yeah, I was definitely like on the go, you honestly felt like you were like in the working field. Um, during my internship days and then obviously during like um, the days that I had class you still felt like a student Amer like being an American it was super easy to transition everyone was very nice everyone was political savvy which I really enjoyed yeah. um, so I definitely loved the whole like ambiance and experience of it so. cool. yeah. my experience was a little bit different um, I was in London for a semester that was my home base and I went to the American University, or Richmond University, the American International School in London. And the school was unique because, well first off, it is a Bradley affiliate, so all 15 uh, credits that I took all transferred back, so that was really nice because all my teachers made me get something signed to ensure that all of my courses would transfer back before I left for London. So I didn't like come back and they found that a course didn't count or something. Everything counted, which is amazing. Um, the school itself is a four-year university in London, uh, but they also have study abroad programs. So I was in classes with a mix of four-year students and semester-long study abroad students who are mostly from America. But it was nice because my classmates who are four-year students were from all over the world. And so that was cool to be exposed to different types of cultures, different people that I might not have met otherwise. And that was great. And so while I was there, I went to nine other countries. I didn't have class on Friday, which was nice. Um, <laughs> all of my classes, except for one, met once a week. So I had no class on Mondays until 6.30 p.m. And then I had two on Tuesday, one on Wednesday, two on Thursday, and then again, it was the weekend. So that was nice. I took a few four-day weekends and traveled. Um, I took three gen eds and then two theater classes, so they all counted towards graduation, which was great, and they all were like core credits that I needed, so nothing was just elective, which is nice. Uh, what else can I say? Oh, it was just so fun. Oh, you yeah. learn a lot about 
yourself and the world around you. And it sounds so cliche. Like there's really not a non cliche way to say. Like it was life changing. It was like unlike anything I've ever done or will experience again. Uh, but you learn like how to navigate different cities, and you learn like the public transportation system everywhere is pretty mm-hmm. universal. And I think that's kind of amazing. And uh, I actually picked up a few different languages while I was there. Like I picked up a tiny bit of Italian, a little bit of French. Um, not Icelandic, did not pick up <laughs> in Iceland, that will never be learned in my head. Um, but it was just an amazing experience and that was like, that was like an average week for me. Sweet, sweet, yeah, and uh, I think my, my experience too is like different than your guys' also because I only did, um, I only did like two and a half weeks in Costa Rica, um, which is cool, like you can do a, a semester abroad here, uh, like kind of what Sarah was just saying, but uh, for my class it was just um, during the break between uh, the fall semester and the spring semester. So it was, we left for Costa Rica in between, or like on January uh, 2nd, so the day after Thanksgiving, um, we did that. And then um, we just met up at O'Hare and then uh, got on our flight um, together. There was like six inches of snow on the ground like when we left, so <laughs> yeah. that was that was honestly like part of the draw too, um, just being able to go, you know, get some, get some sun for a little bit. Um, and then uh, we came back like the 18th, so we had plenty of time there. Uh, so like just the average day there. Uh, so for the first like half of the, the trip, we were in the capital, um, the capital city there uh, in Costa Rica. Um, we, uh, uh, the class I was taking was only, um, only six people. So it was like super, awesome. yeah, it was like super small, like just super like personalized, um, cause it was, uh, the class I was thinking was a, uh, it was just called exploring diversity. So basically every class period we'd talk about like socioeconomic status, race, religion, like just covered a different topic every day. And it was really cool just like, you know, in that kind of intimate class setting, you know, you really get to um, just like talk it out like um, with everyone in your class. And there was another class section there. Um, there was like a upper level Spanish class. Um, so that was cool too because like all, all in all there was about 25, um, 25 of us who went there um, and there was about six people in my class so about um, like 19, 20 people in the other class. Um, they all Bradley students? Yeah, all Bradley students. Um, it was like totally like set up through the university, all Bradley professors too. Um, the professors too, like they do like scouting trips too so they, they'd done the, uh, the program in Costa Rica before so um, it was it was really nice like they had the hotel set up and like ready to go and um, yeah we just used the conference room there at the hotel uh, like breakfast was included like oh, they had fresh fruit it's fresh awesome. pineapple there it was, awesome. it was so good um, and then like kind of like my like daily schedule I was there um, we had class every day from 10 to noon um, even on the weekends but um, so we didn't have to get up too early but uh, and then we we're in class for two hours and after that, we could literally do whatever we wanted. We just had to be in class the next day. So um, I know a lot of us would like re- get out of class, um, cook uh, cook lunch for ourselves, like in our hotel room, because we had little uh, little kitchens there. Mm-hmm. And then we just like kind of go out and like explore the city. We were right by um, right by uh, like kind of the big park in the city. So mm-hmm. there's a lot of like outdoor space right there. Um, we were in walking distance from like the main um, like art district, so we would go there and like talk with like some of the different street vendors and everything. And it was awesome. it was really cool like taking the diversity class there because we got to see and talk about a lot of the different parallels between like Costa Rica and the U.S. as far as like um, like the differences and like similarities in the culture go. And it's one thing you know like I could have just taken that class over break like here on campus or like online. But actually, like going and like immersing yourself in like the culture, like I'm, I'm sure like you guys like both mm-hmm. like with you like going to Washington for politics, like yeah. obviously that's a place to be, um, and then like being in London for theater, it's like mm-hmm. obviously like yeah. really really uh, cool place to experience that. So um, for me, it was really cool just being able to uh, get that like kind of firsthand like immersion, um, and then uh, kind of for the second half of the trip, um, we went and we did uh, we did a bus tour kind of, of half the country and then uh, for the last seven days we were in this like coastal like resort town um, for seven days and that was like that was really cool too we were right by one of the, like the many national parks um, in Costa Rica so that was really 
um, suite. They're just like really known for like all their biodiversity and everything there too. So got to see a lot of wildlife, like sloths and uh, yeah, some yeah some other like monkeys and everything. Yeah, so yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot of fun like outside the classroom too. Um, Hi, I'm <laughs> Adding one more to the team. Yeah. Right, Hi guys, sorry I'm late. Classroom really late. That's okay. Also, it's an icky day outside. <laughs> yeah. Hi, anyways, I'm Jessica. Hi. Hello. Hi, Jessica. <laughs> <laughs> um, I studied abroad in Sevilla, Spain, so Seville in the south. Um, first semester. Amazing. Right. Hi, guys. So, <laughs> hi, guys. <laughs> uh, so, did you guys have any like orientation or guidance at the beginning of your semesters or time to help you like get accustomed to where you were, like before yeah. you started classes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, do you want to start? Okay, I can start. I can start. Um, so I was in Seville for five months, and the first month we were there, we didn't start classes. So that was really nice that, like, yeah, like, I would say like three weeks. So that was really nice that, like, you kind of get used to speaking another language every single day, and then, like, you know, figuring out how to get place to place and all that stuff before you had to be, like, thrust into classes. Um, so yeah, we got there and we had like maybe a week and a half long orientation and they went over everything like, you know, how to get along with your host family, how to go from place to place, how to travel, like because you're in Europe, you know, you can travel anywhere you want. Mm -hmm. um, what else? How the grading system works because Europe is very different than the United States. Um, what else? It was really cool. I liked it. We took, oh, the big part. We also had a, um, what's it called? An English Spanish class, I'm sorry, mm -hmm. an intensive Spanish class when we got there. So like, you know, a lot of us had been Spanish majors or some of us had never spoke Spanish before a day in their lives. So for, you know, the different levels, we had a class to kind of like refresh or teach or, you know, kind of go in the middle. Sure. That was awesome. cool. What about you? Yeah, so um, there was about 120 students in my entire program. So in my concentration alone, I had about 15 students in my class but the entire program was pretty huge. Um, there was a variety of students, domestic and international. I met a lot of students from Korea and then, you know, from like right next door, um, you know, in the East Coast, like, you know, like Massachusetts and even California. So it was a good, a good range of diversity. Um, so we were asked to come three days before the program officially started for orientation. So during the orientation, um, it was pretty similar to, I guess, like your freshman year, you know, coming into a new university where, you know, you had the dean speak, you had like different representatives, your professors, you got to meet all of them. And um, it was just very cool just being like in an auditorium full of like all of these students who are technically your classmates. Mm -hmm. And they did a, we did a lot of icebreakers, which was actually really fun. Mm -hmm. um, we did a lot of giveaways, like did like, you know, t-shirt tosses. I got a free t-shirt, by the way, during orientation. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go, Everywhere you go. Everywhere you go in college. I think too. Yeah, so I got my t-shirt. Um, and also what was really cool was um, we did a random roommate process. Mm -hmm. So um, the roommate that you met was a part of, wasn't a part of your class, but was a part of your program. So it was actually really cool because um, my roommate, she was from Chicago. So like it was kind of like, you know, like you're having that like Midwest, you know, like connection. Um, and she actually goes, you know, to a school by Brandy. So it was, it was kind of weird in a sense where it's like, I've never met you before, but like we're so close. Yeah. Um, and then during the next day they had a huge, this is like my favorite part, they had a huge scavenger hunt, like how well do you know DC? So the entire day, like they gave us like r random clues and literally we spent the entire day going to like so many places in DC. Like they'd give us a clue and we'd end up in the, um, like one of the art museums. They'd give us another clue, like take a selfie like in front of the White House, like another clue. Like So we went like literally to all of these different places in DC, like pretty much to get us used to like going on the metro, going on the bus, and then like just pretty much being able to like, you know, go sightseeing in a mm -hmm. sense. Um, so it was really cool, you know, you got in groups of like six or seven, so you were able to meet more of your classmates. Um, and then like the grand prize was you were able um, to get free tickets to go to um, an embassy of your choice. Uh, for like a gala. Unfortunately, wow. my team got second. Really? Oh. I, know, I know, we were like five points away. And honestly, I was so upset. I mean, I still got to go to a lot of embassies, but um, the, the the winning team, like obviously like they did like such a good job. They got to go to um, the embassy of Italy for um, a ball in February. Wow. So it was That's a really so cool. cool prize. Um, but I mean, we, we still got to go to like an embassy just like as an entry, like, which was real, still really cool because mm -hmm. it's like, you're like transported into like pretty much the country itself, like yeah. in DC. Wow. So that was really cool. Um, so like, they just like really just like got us in there, like 
try to get us in like that organic feel of like meeting our classmates and stuff. Pretty much it felt like you were a freshman again, but it was really cool though because it's like we got to explore DC, like I wasn't as scared as I thought I would be, like going into like, you know, like a different town, a different state, like DC's <laughs> not a state. Yeah. Um, so it was like, I just really enjoyed it. Like, you know, just getting to know like all of my classmates and then just getting thrown out there like, all right, like, you know, like scavenger hunt in DC, like you got it. So it was really cool. Yeah. Well, I remember before I went abroad, like all I was worried about was like, what's the first step when you get there? Like, mm -hmm. or even I did Absolutely. the DC program that Ellie did too, and like at a different in the summer. Mm -hmm. And um, I just remember thinking like, oh my gosh, what happens when I go to DC? And like, you know, I don't know where I'm going or in Spain. Like, what if I don't know how to yeah. get from place to place? <laughs> yeah. And like, orientations, it's cool to know that like those are there for you, yes. and like you're not just getting thrust into an environment and like saying, okay, figure it out. So yeah, that's cool. Yeah, for, for J term, it was kind of cool because I mean, it's a lot shorter like time frame, yeah. obviously. So like we started class like the first day we were there, um, but like there was pretty extensive like orientation process here on campus mm -hmm. like beforehand. So it was just really nice because like I've, I've been fortunate enough to like do some traveling outside of the country. So I knew like what to pack or like what TSA mm -hmm. would be like going through, which like, if, yeah, if you like never traveled before, that can be a rude, uh, rude surprise. Um, so just like the fact that like the coordinators and our, like our professors like went through, just like sat us down and did like a Q and A session, um, and, like uh, did like a presentation on like Costa Rican culture too. Yeah. So you kind of yeah. like had an idea that you wouldn't like, just like offend anyone like by doing something yeah. like silly that like we do here in, uh, in America. <laughs> Um, was kind of cool and uh, for me like I, I've taken a bunch of French classes here which obviously there's not a lot of French speakers in Costa Rica <laughs> so um, it was cool like going with a, a, a group of like um, a Spanish class too because we like the people from the diversity class that I was in we'd always like try and pair up with someone yeah. from the Spanish class like before, yeah before we'd like go out into the city so they would like talk to the cab drivers <laughs> or like be able to order at restaurants and everything yeah. so yeah, yeah that was kind of fun <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie, when I first got off the plane in London, I did travel with other Bradley students from Chicago, which was nice, but once I got into my room, I went with my roommate from Bradley, and she wasn't there yet, and I had like a very mild like, anxiety attack, like I was all of a sudden very nervous, and I was like, there's literally no turning back now, like mm -hmm. what, what have I got out of such a feeling? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've never, I've never, I've never felt that before, because I've, I've been away from home like since I was in fifth grade, so then I looked out my window on a street that was like a street of London, and I was like, this is not... <laughs> Oh, and then I saw my roommate get out of a cab and, all, and suddenly I felt so much better and it's like we ended up in the same place and that helped a lot um, but what did get me through that was like our orientation um, Richmond study abroad students were really well taken care of we do have RAs and like resident directors just like at Bradley who we lived in the dorms and we lived in the middle of Kensington which is like the heart of London and around the corner from Kensington Palace where the royal family lives so they hooked us up it was amazing <laughs> I'll never live in a place like that Getting again. <laughs> For real, it was, oh my gosh, it was so cool. Um, but when they made sure the week before classes start, we had not a walking tour of our neighborhood, which was important, like by actual tour guides. I think I stayed away for like 36 hours to beat that jet lag. Yep. Oh my um, gosh, that was the worst. It's worth staying up because I was it not is. jet lagged on my way there, but coming home it was bad. Um, but it's worth staying up. Um, and then we had a bus tour of London. We got free tickets to Wicked. So we got to see a West End production wow. our first our first week, um, I went on a tour of Chelsea Football Stadium, or soccer, oh, yeah. uh, and that was awesome. We got to go into the locker rooms and onto the field. It was so awesome. Uh, and then I took a Jack the Ripper walking tour, which my stomach could not handle. There was a lot of gore in that. Oh, I didn't like it at all, but it was cool. <laughs> yeah. um, and then we got to go on a party boat, and they took us like on a cruise on the River Thames, and there was like music, and you just get to know the people you're studying abroad with, and it was awesome. And then I think classes started like the week after. And so they made sure you became well acquainted. All the study abroad kids uh, ate in the same area, the dining hall, and it was all also in my dorm, which was nice. In my dorm I was staying, also had the library, a big lounge, computer lab, awesome. free yeah, printing, awesome. which was like praise, <laughs> it was awesome. Um, and it was great, so we were really well taken care of. And then additionally, there are a lot of things included with studying abroad through AIFS. 
uh, which is going to Bath for a day. We got to go see like the London town of Bath, which is beautiful. And then in April, we went to Cambridge. And so we got to go to University of Cambridge, which is also stunning. And then we got to go on the London Eye, which is like this giant famous Ferris wheel, if anyone's ever mm -hmm. been before. Uh, and that was all included like in our programs. There was nothing that we had to pay for out of pocket there. Programs are awesome. It's awesome, like, I really recommend it. Yeah, and additionally they had guided trips. I took a trip to Berlin and Iceland through my study abroad program, so I didn't have to plan anything, which was nice, and they get you really good deals. So if you can ever take like guided trips, I recommend it, they're fun. Well, what's so awesome about Brad, they like study abroad, and I'm a study abroad intern, so I have to like plug it. Yes. <laughs> um, but like we have so many different programs and affiliations with all different schools all over the world. Mm -hmm. And like for me, I studied with CIEE, which is a program. Mm -hmm. And um, like just like you, like they took us, we went to wine tastings and olive oil tastings and like, they took us to Morocco for four days and we stayed with host families there. Like so things cool. that I would have never done. You know, like yeah. Morocco, there's a way to do it that's very touristy. And then there's staying with host families and like, you know. Kind of more immersive. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. they do like group eating. So like you eat from a giant plate with the whole family. Like, I'd never done that before. And it was an experience that like my program let me do. Um, what else? Yeah, they they was reprinting. Um, there were like RAs, but like we all lived with host families, so they were like, yeah, what was that like? RAs of the host family. Mm -hmm. Awesome, awesome. When you were talking about like when you first got there and you were like, oh my gosh, that was me. Like, <laughs> I kind of like was joking with my mom, like reflecting back, and I was like, the first day I got there was one of the worst, like the worst days of my life, but the second day was one of the best days I've ever had in my life because, mm -hmm. like, when you get there, we hadn't slept at all. Like, I don't know if you didn't. Yeah, you no, said we. Not at all. When you don't sleep. And all of a sudden, everyone's speaking very aggressive Spanish to you, but like it's not actually aggressive. Yeah. But like it's very, you know, south of Spain, and like there's a lot of hands flying everywhere. And, like, <laughs> it's just a lot. It was a lot at first, but like I would give probably my left arm to do it again. Like mm -hmm. my host family, I had um, an older woman and an older man, a couple, mm -hmm. and they had two older um, daughters who lived out of the house that had little dogs. So like they oh, they always God. visited and bring their little dogs over and like. Just my host mom was one of the best people I've ever met in my life. Like, yes, we didn't always understand each other, and I think she thought I was kind of crazy sometimes. Because, <laughs> like, I would have to like draw things, like, because I never want to use a translator. Like, I wanted to like get it Challenge out. Challenge yourself. Yeah. yeah. So she she thought I was all over the place, but you know she it was just awesome. Um, a lot of host families, especially in Spain, do a really good job of providing meals. So I had three meals each day, and like. I mean, I haven't had my mom cook for me since, you know, or like had like had a home, you know, cooked meal in a while when you're in school, like you go from, you know, cafeteria or where you're living, but like at school or in Spain, every single day I had like a home cooked meal with love, like, <laughs> like, awesome. so she'd have desserts and like all this stuff. And I was like, where am I? <laughs> like, my mother right doesn't yeah. like this. It was awesome. And like, she would do my laundry and clean my room, which like was very strange concept for me. Cause again, like we've been doing that, you know, by ourselves, but that was something that she enjoyed doing. And I was like, well, okay, you know, <laughs> um, what else? But I actually, I really enjoyed doing my own laundry because they do um, like line drying and we'd like go up to the roof, me and her and like hang all the clothes and like you could see the skyline and like, yeah, it was just so beautiful. beautiful. And there's like bells ringing all the time and like, oh. We would just bond over hanging <laughs> up underwear. Yeah. Like, it was kind of fun. So um, awesome. yeah. What else though about host family? Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't like their host families, but if you don't, then you can switch. Like, I'm not actually not a lot of people don't like them, but if you do if you have an issue, yeah. if you do have an issue, um, yeah, it's very easy to switch. I knew one girl in my program switched from her host family. And then she went to another and realized that she missed her other host family and went back. So wow. um, if she can do that, you can yeah. switch at any time. Yeah. But almost everyone I know love their host family. Everyone still keeps in contact. Me and my host mom uh, Facebook all the time. So she's always liking my photos, always commenting in Spanish. That's awesome. Are you fluent like, now? I don't know if I'm necessarily fluent because like if they, you know how we speak in slang sometimes? Yeah. Like if they speak in slang, I can't pick that up. But like, I can say everything I need to say and understand everything usually. So I would say a high efficiency. Because You're just not cool. Yeah, yeah. I just, yeah. when you start going around <laughs> cool terms, it's like a little dicey. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it was cool. That's awesome. Did anyone experience like culture shock? I'm sure 
your family. Um, what really stuck out to me, uh, what, what Jessica said, was like your first day is not necessarily like the worst day, but it's it's a very it's like an eye it's, it's, it's like an odd day it's in a real. sense because um, like for me, for example, this was the first time that I was leaving home. This is the first time I was on my own, and the first time I was on a plane by myself. Um, so don't don't judge me, but I mean I got lost even in O'Hare. I was kind of like <laughs> I was kind of like, wait, what am I doing? What gate am decide. I in? What's going on? TSA? What? And I even when I got there, like, yeah. literally, like literally, I was just there holding my ticket, like, what am I doing? Oh my god! Oh, but I made it. Do not worry. Um, I got texts like, from her that day. You're yeah. here now. And then, yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, and, I, and I'm not gonna lie, I got a lot of I sent a lot of little like panicking texts because um, the the dining halls weren't open then, uh, so I had to like go scavenge for food. And then there was me in like a small town called Tenley Town, which is like su like suburban area, it so it was like super pretty. But there's me thinking, okay, where am I gonna find food? So obviously, thanks to Google Maps. Um, I like Google like food near me. So it took me to a subway and as I was walking, it actually took me to a sub because my neighbor was Homeland Security. So it took me, so it was guiding me to the subway inside of Homeland Security. Oh, so I was like, That would well, make me nervous. <laughs> well, I, I was like, can't get in there. Um, so I was like hunting around and then thanks to Jessica, since she did the program during the summer, she told me how um, American University provides a shuttle for students oh, to take you to downtown Tenley Town, which is where they have food. So I found the bus. The bus was literally like 10 steps away from the apartment where the Washington semester students stayed in. I found the bus was like literally, it's like I found like home, went on the bus and it was free too. Uh, the, yes. shuttle, the shuttle is free for students. Um, the shuttle's awesome. The shuttle took me to downtown Tenley Town and literally it was the cutest downtown area because mm -hmm. it had food. Thank God. And had like CBS. Like I was like, I just found home. I was so happy to see food and see like a CBS. Mm -hmm. Um, so it just like be just getting like acclimated to like the environment, like especially being by myself because my roommate didn't move in until two days later. So I was in the room by myself thinking, All right, like I can do this, I got this, like I'm not gonna get lost, I'm gonna be fine. Um, but just like the first day as a whole, even like with my luggage too, like I like obviously was there for a semester, so I brought like three luggage. Oh, that was so and, hard. And since I yeah. came by myself, there was me struggling, um, getting out of the Uber and literally trying to carry all three of my luggages inside of the apartment, but that did not work. Wow. So I literally had that. So when I made new friends, and actually it's a funny story, um, I found a student and his parents, and I and the parents saw me struggling, and they're like, "Do you need help?" I was like, yes. <laughs> um, so they actually took my luggage in for me, and what I didn't know was their son, which was a student who did the program too, was actually in my, my class, was in my program. Mm -hmm. um, and he became one of my really good friends uh, during the program. So it was actually really cool being able to see, like, you know, since day one, like, who, who would have thought, like, you know, his parents helped me out with my luggage, and he became one of my best friends through the program. Awesome. Um, so for me, like, it was, it was just a very odd day because I was on my own, and I was like, what am I doing? in DC, like I just want to find Obama and Michelle and, <laughs> and hug them, but I had to, you know, just get acclimated first, but I ended up literally like how Justin said, like I would do the experience all over again yeah. because that experience yeah. Yeah. let me stay there for another three months over the summer, so. Not to cut you off, but it's really funny because she was texting me while like I was like fresh in Spain panicking <laughs> and I was texting her because like I knew DC and like she knows fluent Spanish so it was like Ilya I need you to help me like <laughs> <laughs> you say this. here's the phone talk yeah. to me <laughs> <Fresh Wow. connection. laughs> and awesome. she'd be like well this is what you need to do blah, blah, blah. it was it was a struggle <laughs> that's a good point though work. like my one piece of advice is to be always ask for help or directions because yes. like that's yeah. how you you'll get around because you'll just save so much time rather than exploring on your mm -hmm. own and like getting lost mm -hmm. just ask someone like if you're in Paris you find yourself in Italy just ask if, if they don't understand English and you find the next person who does like luckily a lot There's of people no speak English questions. Oh, no, no. Yeah. no and you won't be judged like you, you might feel it from Europeans but you won't be judged <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm kind of jealous of you guys because like you all got to do the whole semester and thing like I only got like two and a half weeks so it was just mm -hmm. like that like flew by like so yeah. fast like but that was like a like, taste so yeah, now you need to be uh, like okay semester yeah <laughs> no, you will well, do I, I'm, work, yeah. I'm working my way up and little by little mm -hmm. yeah awesome. definitely yeah. Yeah. but J term and term is awesome especially yeah. to like get a yeah. like very intensive look at one area yes. yeah I and, think. yeah it's definitely like really flexible too because I didn't have to like devote like a whole semester to like yeah. being somewhere it's just like 
Oh yeah, I'm just chilling at home over like winter break. Like might as well like <laughs> class done. Yeah, 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 like do a class. Like that. Yeah, and that was really cool because that allowed me to like take a lighter load like mm -hmm. that next semester because I would have been taking that class in the next semester. Why anyway. did you choose to go JTR instead of a, a semester? Um, honestly, it was just like uh, just the location like was one thing. Like Costa Rica is just like one of those places. Like, always wanted to go like I've heard a lot of really good things the other option was London for um, for like two and a half weeks but I, I definitely want to go someplace a little warmer um, during, <laughs> during <laughs> winter awesome. yeah it's hard so, to get it two weeks too yeah, yeah yeah so um just being able, being able to do that and again just like kind of being flex flexible I wasn't ready to like mm -hmm. say goodbye to all my friends for like a yeah. whole a whole semester yeah. and everything so mm -hmm. that was kind of cool and um it was really nice to like kind of going back to like all of the free time I had like obviously like you know you're going there to like do a class and everything and I had like two hours of class every day plus like maybe like an hour of homework mm -hmm. but like outside of that like I got we went on a couple guided tours we went yeah. there's a volcano that's like right outside the capital so cool. that that oh, actually wow. like kind of funny story Casual volcano. Yeah. It actually, <laughs> the volcano actually erupted like two weeks before we got there wow. and yeah and ev wild. like everyone in the city was like super casual about it they were like, we were, yeah, no, we were, like our tour guide on the way up, he was like, yeah, so like I was just like dusting my car off the other day because like this volcano, it's like, does it do that a lot? Like, yeah, every couple, every couple of years, you know, just like, that's how we study abroad. Like, yeah, like, that. yeah. like, yeah. you know, like yeah. when is that going to happen in Peoria, that's Illinois? So wow. Like, wow. Being able to do that, and then I went, uh, Hopefully never. yeah, yeah, <laughs> like white, I, I got to go white water rafting. Wow. Uh, my dream. For, yeah, that's it was cool. for the first time and. Um, just like meeting like the river guides there and everything like they knew a lot about the area and then um, being able to go to like some of the national parks there and just like seeing like what like Costa Ricans identified as like part of their culture mm -hmm. um, was probably like the coolest thing and like that's uh, again probably like why I really liked the uh, the May term or May term J term it's just like like you said, it's just like super focused and like super yeah. intense for like that two weeks. Like by the end of the two weeks, like I was so exhausted because I was just like out <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, I was just like out like the whole day in class the whole day doing homework all the time, just like trying to make the most of like everything. So I definitely feel like, but I definitely want to go back. I didn't, yeah. didn't get to see the whole country, mm -hmm. so. Yeah. May term, J term is so good for people like engineers and nurses who like can't spare a semester or two mm -hmm. in their schedule or like education mm -hmm. majors like if they want to you know stay on track a lot of people do choose J term and May term because they can still study abroad and still stay on track for graduation mm -hmm. and maybe even earlier because they're taking a credit yeah, so it's getting, getting a jump on their classes yeah. yeah it's so nice we have that what's really cool a shameless plug um, <laughs> for like engineers I think and certain education sectors who normally can't really study abroad because it doesn't work that well um, Bradley offers like they partners with some school and like I think China yeah, I Germany and some other cool ones mm -hmm. that you can finish your degree and you can be working on like cool engineering stuff Amazing. you know yeah, in Germany like yeah. that's perfect yeah, yeah. um so like there are options there are options if you like you have a major that doesn't really allow for it um but then again j term may term is just awesome in general so it is yeah, yeah. did you travel yeah. elsewhere oh yes i did did you yes. okay <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> where did you go nice. nine um morocco i think nine. Oh, yeah. well, cool. nine like cities <laughs> like, wow yeah, well, also, like, maybe within Spain. I counted a lot of cities, yeah. Yeah. So, Morocco, which was really, really cool, because we stayed with the host family. Like, without the host family, it wouldn't have been as cool, because we would have seen, like, very touristy stuff, mm -hmm. which, like, it was yeah. cool seeing camels, but, like, <laughs> those camels weren't naturally there. Like, yeah. Yeah. like the yeah. tourist agencies moved the camels. <laughs> there. So it was like, this is not real. Right. <laughs> but it was cool, like, being in the homes, and, like, they were speaking Arabic, and, like, I've never been around that, you know? Like, it was so amazing. Um, where else? Parts of Italy, um, France, where else? Brussels, yeah. Belgium, um, Amsterdam, Netherlands, I'm blanking. And then another that I can't remember. Mm. But it all, like, the cool part about being abroad, and I'm sure you can attest to this, is that you can really go anywhere. Yeah. Like, once so you're once you're over there, once you're there yeah. yeah, it's just so like well, different town, the first like, six hours like yeah. yeah. Especially for yeah. you, like in London, being in the hub of things. Like I was in the mm -hmm. south of Spain, which like is a little harder to get from place to place, just mm -hmm. because like you'd have to go to Madrid and then you know Bus Madrid yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah. Or I could fly to Madrid, like either or. But um, I know for like you or for other people or even myself in general, like 
to get, I took a flight to Paris. It was like a hundred euros. So like, you know, $110. It okay. was awesome. Round trip. Wow. You know, like, yeah, that's awesome. we'd stay yeah. in an Airbnb <laughs> or a hostel for like 13 mm-hmm. euros a night, $15. Like, Hostels are fun. It was awesome. It yeah, was fantastic. Exactly. That's so cool. Yeah, I think, so I, okay, <laughs> I'm going to list it off. Um, so I was in London and then I went to Edinburgh, Scotland, um, Rome. I went to Rome alone. Fun facts, like I that like my so advice, like go somewhere so alone right. because it's That's it's like regret. yeah. I, I someone told me like an upperclassman said try to travel somewhere alone, and I did that, and it's like the most rewarding thing. And I met a girl there, and we're still friends, and we were like in the same hostel, and we spent the entire weekend together. It was Valentine's Day weekend, the best Valentine's Day I've ever had <laughs> in Rome. Super um, cute. It was amazing. I recommend like trying to go alone because you just learn you learn so much about yourself, and like it's just a good Biggest reflection regret. Time. Yeah. And you still have time. That's great. I know. I really um, wanted to go to Poland while I was there because I wanted to cool. see like Auschwitz and like Warsaw and all that stuff. But like no one wanted to go. And I was like, I'm just gonna do it by myself. Yeah, yeah and you then should. The parentals were not about it. But <laughs> yeah, it took some convincing. Actually, yeah. yeah. um, I was at it's a Scotland, Rome, Berlin, and Iceland. We're through my school, and Iceland is so cool. Um, Iceland, and then I went to Paris. My friend from home came up to visit me in London. We went to Paris together. And those three were during spring break. And then I went to Amsterdam, which is probably my favorite. Um, Amsterdam, Belgium, went to Brussels and Bruges. And Bruges is like a little chocolate box. It's amazing. Um, and then Barcelona so cool. was my last. And we met up with my roommate, Becca, who was in Granada, Spain that semester. We all met up in Barcelona, and it was the greatest weekend. Like. One of the greatest well, of my life. Hangout. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's yeah. Sure. no, it's yeah. Yeah. Uh, I met up with so many people from Bradley abroad. Me too. Like my best so friend was many. in France, so we all met her in France, and like yeah. we all met. One of my friends was in Madrid, so we all went to Madrid. Like, yeah, it was just so cool. It's wild. I met like, up you don't with, belong like, here. Like, <laughs> yeah. Here's a lot of people like study abroad at the same time as you. I ran into two people from my high school in Berlin. Yes, yes. me too. Oh, like really in Florence. Isn't that weird? Like I was like. I didn't see what you since high school. And so can Bradley in Amsterdam. Like, I just, it's crazy. It's so weird. It's the a, world is small. A small world, yeah. yeah. Like, you realize how small the world is, but also how much there is to discover. And it's just, it's just amazing. It's like mind blowing. Well, I traveled to Maryland, Virginia. Good. Oh. Um, the beaches of Maryland. You go, Illy. No, no, but Virginia's no, just, awesome. Actually, it's really cool. So, like, just DC in a sense, you're literally like getting a taste of history. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. like. It, it's it, like just going through like the National Mall, by the way, it's not a mall. Um, you know, being able to see the monuments, it's like it's honestly just so, it's, it's, it's a very, very beautiful experience. And then obviously like going into the archives and being able to see the Bill of Rights, mm-hmm. you know, Declaration of Independence. Like to me, like I'm, I'm you know, a political junkie, history junkie. Mm-hmm. It was just so cool. And even if like, you know, you don't, don't like politics, it's boring. Like there's just so much to do. All this, all like the little towns in DC are just diverse within itself. Yeah, like you have so one cool. town called Columbia Heights, where it's like, you know, you get you, the rich like, pupusas of like El Salvador, and like you have the like, next town like, you know, um, like Dupont Circle, where it's like a little bit more like uppity and artsy, mm. and like it's just like very cool. You get a taste of like all the these best different, food. and the food is so. That's literally where my yeah. brain went. Was the food. oh yeah, yeah Costa Rica <laughs> so was good. oh my. So like they cool. they have this dessert called tres leches. Oh yeah, it's the, it's just like a cream I'm cake. So sorry. And, yeah, no, I'm, that's din- awesome. dinner's dinner's <laughs> yeah. coming up. Well, that's and, I'm just and like in my kitchen, like I did a lot of cooking because we had like the the international mart. It was called. It was just like the big like like fresh air market. It was like a like fifteen minute walk from our hotel, which we had a kitchen there. So it was just like well. I'm gonna go get some chicken breasts, get some avocados, a lot of like weird different fruit that we yeah, don't have here. Like our um, our professors made us do like a scavenger hunt, and one of the things was like buy a fruit from the market that you've never like heard of or seen before. And I got this one; it's like red, but it had like spikes on it. It kind of looks like a, a star. Uh, no, it no, it was. It might have been a dragon, but you like cut it in. You don't like eat the outside. You like cut it, it in half, like and there's like there's like these weird like gooey seeds on the inside. Yeah. Did it look like a pomegranate? It was smaller, but yeah, and it's good? That's cool. it was actually really good. Yeah, yeah, it didn't like that. If I just saw that here, like that would not be something I would, I would think <laughs> yeah, of to like, try. That's but, uh, yeah, yeah. I would say like another advice: go to markets everywhere you go. Uh, if you're like elsewhere, I made a point to go to market every single country I went to, whether it was food or like yeah. stuff. 
It's mm. so it's so like cultural, you know. I love it. Mm -hmm. I made guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I made guacamole and quesadillas for myself like every day. When you're there. there? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. He has avocados. We'll make guacamole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a requirement. Honestly, I can justify food spending no matter where. Like even here, yes. I'm like, you know what? I'm hungry. I need food. Well, you gotta survive. <laughs> But yeah, that's about like all the time we have. Okay. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have any questions, send a message. Call the admissions office. We can answer your questions. That's a good ending note. Food. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Food. Yeah. It's yeah. important. Either, either place you will not if, go hungry. Yeah. If nothing else appeals to you, the food. Yeah. <laughs> food is no, go eat some dinner. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye.